Thanks, Trace. Ciao, mate. Well, made out with Ruby? Yeah. What's up? You're shaking. Oh, I'm not cool, I'm fine. Come on, in the pub. No, I just want to go home. Stacy, no arguments. You need a bit of looking after. Stacy. I said I didn't want it. Now, where are you going? Home, if that's all right with you. Let's get into you again. I just want to be on my own, right? Sure. Stacy. God almighty. Bleeding hell. Come on, we can't stay here. Everyone's looking at us. Come on. Leave them, Mo, leave them. This is enough to make their mother go right off the deep end, this is. Tracy, stick a large one in there, please. I need it. Oh, this don't weigh much. Is this all you've got? Go to the old house, see Doreen. She's still a nosy old cow, isn't she? But she knows where I am. That's how you found me. I just come back from my holiday today. I was down the club. I can't believe that I was in the club and, and you were knocking on the door. I might have missed you. You weren't waiting long, were you? My hands are shaking. Come on. Sweet home. Here, sit down, make yourself comfortable. Uh, I can make you a cup of tea. Do you want a cup of tea? Yeah, all right. Hello. Three sugars, right? See, I remember. Three heat teaspoons, so it's more like four. You sugar freak, you're gonna have no teeth left. Just a bit of milk. Are you hungry? If you're hungry, I can make you some toast or, or a sandwich. Or I'm sure we've got something in the freezer. But I can make you a sandwich. You want a sandwich, yeah? No, I'm alright. Biscuits? Do you want a biscuit? We've got loads of biscuits in this house. We've got coming out of our heroes. Stace, I'm okay. You don't have free sugars in your tea anymore. I never gave up hope in Sean. Everyone else did, but not me. I never ever gave up hope in. think that I was still going to be 11? Still a midget, though. What? Shut up, I ain't. Yeah, you are. What about you, you lanky streak? What's the weather like up there? Better it is down there, short ass. <gasps> you git! Oh, what's with the nails, Stace? Oh, owls claws, them. Mm, funny. Oh, eagles tans, what you do? Do some damage, take someone's eye out. Well, I'll do some damage to you if you don't shut your mouth. What are you going to do? Bump my knees? No, I'm going to chew your ankles off. <laughs> <laughs> you grew up. So did you. I thought about you. I thought about you and all. Every day. 
Why did you go, Sean? Why did you leave us? Alright, you don't have to answer that one now. That was a bit unfair of me, but... Where have you been? What have you been doing? Mommy. Huh? You've been... You've been in, in the thing? In Iraq? Yeah, I've been in the thing. <laughs> don't laugh at me, Sean. I'm not, I'm not. A soldier? I was. Well, and you're done now? You don't have to go back? No. I'm all finished. Good. Well, I don't know if I should say that or not, but good. And you're not hurt or nothing. Do I look it? <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to say to Mum about this, about you. Oh, my God, if she'd have opened that door, Sean, bloody hell. Well, she's moved, but you know that because you've been round there. The new play suits are so much better. She couldn't have stayed at the old one. But she's doing OK now. She's doing really, really good. Right. Doreen's eyes must have been out on stalks when she saw you. Who? Doreen. Next door, you know, the one who always used to look through the window. She must have been ready to drop down dead. <laughs> so have you been in the army all this time? No. Four years. So what did you do before that? Yeah. This and that. Like what? Just stuff. All sorts, really. It's not important, I don't really remember. Why did you go, Sean? Why did you leave us? Please, I have to know. Was it me? Was it something that I did? Stacey, don't be stupid. How could it have been yeah, you? You just went. I didn't get a, a call, not a word, nothing. Not even a letter just to say you are right, you were alive. Please, Sean, I have to know. Uh, Sean! There's nobody there on you. What is it? What's the matter? We give it a rest with the questions, Stace. My head is spinning. Yeah, but you must have known there was going to be questions. You must have been ready for them. Or did you think that you were just going to walk up to the door and we could pick up from where we left off? I don't know. You went back home, Sean. You was walking down the street. You must have had some idea in your head about what you was going to say. I didn't go home. I never went back to the house. So how did you find me? How did you know that I was here? I didn't. I don't want to lie to you, Stace. So what are you doing here, then? If you ain't here for me, then why are you here? I was looking for a mate. Oh, well, don't let me stop you. If you're supposed to be having a lager in the pub with one of your mates, then run along. I made a mistake. You ain't here. I couldn't lie to you, could I? Thanks for your honesty. <laughs> Would you have come to the house to look for me? Would you have tried to find me? I don't know. In truth, I just don't know. All this truth, I tell you something now, it's killing me. Such a mug. No, you ain't. Oh, I am. But this ain't exactly a walk in the park for me, is it? You don't expect to go into some backstreet boozer. And step straight back into the cack that you scraped off your shoe seven years ago. It ain't nothing like that, and you know it. I don't know nothing. All I know is that I woke up Christmas morning and you went. Me and Mum went downstairs and you were gone. What were you thinking? This is my chance, so I'll get out of it. Dad was only dead three weeks. Yeah, I know. All that waiting. Having the police around, not hearing from you, not knowing where you were. It's like you just disappeared off the face of the earth. Mum won't talk about you, no. She won't even mention your name. Won't she? Do you know what she did? No. Oh, well, how could you? She smashed all your stuff up, ripped your clothes to shreds, all the photos. There was nothing left of you or what was yours. She wiped you out completely like you were never there. She had a right big bonfire. Yeah, sounds like her. 
upset it. And you say you thought about me. I did. I thought about you all the time. You didn't get to a phone, though, did you? Ain't that simple? Oh, it is to me. If you think about someone, you call them or you write to them. And say what, eh? How about you went because you bottled it? That's the truth, isn't it? You couldn't deal with Dad being gone, but me and Mum, we had to deal with it, didn't we? Yeah. When has she ever dealt with anything? First sign of things getting messy, she's hiding under the covers. None of this is her fault. None of it. And you're blaming her. You're having a pop at her. I can't even look at you. You go halfway around the world whisking blown to bits in some war that's got absolutely nothing to do with you, but you can't stay at home and fight for your own family. Bleeding soldier boy. You make me sick. You never thought about me for one moment. It's okay, Robbie. It's just what I wanted to talk to you about. Come on, downstairs. So I walked out. But you've been all right, haven't you? You said so yourself, and I knew you'd be all right with this lot. Being brought up with the cousins, it was better for you, and I knew that they would step in and look after you. I knew you'd be all right. I was with Mum. No, you weren't. You were... I was with Mum. I never saw them. I saw them a few times, but that was it. I only came here when Mum went to that hospital, but apart from that, it was just me and her the whole time. I can't have been. She tried to top herself last year, just before Christmas. Got herself onto the train tracks, waiting for a high speed. Oh, but what do you care? You just came here for a pint of lager with some mate. Look at you, trying to make it better for yourself. You ain't got a clue what it's been like, Sean, what any of it's been like, have you? My old man's funeral, Charlie. You said to me, if there was anything you could do, the family was what mattered, and if I needed anything, I just had to ask. Yeah, and I meant it. But you left Stacy, an 11-year-old kid alone with my mother. It was difficult. She was on her own, Charlie. And I thought you'd step in, since his family and all. How'd you leave her on her toddy? Eh? Well, you know how your mum can be. Yeah, I do. That's why I'm asking the question. Well, Jean wouldn't have let us even if we wanted to have her. Because we had our own family problems. Yeah, but you never even went round to check on her, did you? And you? Always going on about your girls and all. Yeah, hang on a minute. You can't put this at my door. You were the one who did the disappearing act. I was a 16-year-old boy, Charlie. You were a fully grown man. You were the one that said to me that if there was anything you could do, and I believed you. Yeah, well, our arm's here now, isn't it? Not now, Mo. We're not done. I just want to say hello to Sean. No. Is that right what Stacey's saying? You were in the army fighting, was you? Yeah, that's right. Good on you. You reckon? Yeah. Thanks, Mo. That means a lot. I'm glad you ain't dead and I'm glad you ain't been out. I wanted to see you and now I have so you can go. Stace. No, I was better off hoping. I was better by miles. I don't want you here. Let us sleep on it, Sean. Give us some time. And you look as though you've got nowhere else to go. Don't worry about me, Charlie. Well, I do. You've always been a good boy, Sean. I mean, I know you adored your dad and... Well, him dying so sudden like that, it's bound to have an effect, isn't it? And like I said, it's a family that matters. I admire your values, Charlie.
Oh, you. Get off my car. Ow, mate. Sure. You gonna invite me in? Or what? Cheers. It's good to see you, Al. Good to see you, too. Yeah? <laughs> Bit of a shock. What are expecting you? It's been a long time. So it's rented, is it? It's nice. It's very nice. You think? No. <clears throat> Not at all, mate. But hey, what do you want? What you want is someone to get your head down, don't you? I'll tell you what. That vehicle outside, mate. Ooh, that is beautiful. That is gorgeous. So, so uh, Jiro was out. Yeah, that's something. You heard something. Don't you know the details? Oh, well, wow, mate, you'll like this. This will make you laugh. Right, I get fit again. I want to go back to the unit, but they're having none of it. So they said this regimental careers officer to come and see me for a little chat. He's got this big old moustache like a walrus. Now for me, the post of steward in the officer's mess, like it's some big treat for me to go handing out the port and Stilton. So I lammed him, smacked him right on his big tash. Yeah, yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, well, the army takes it in view of stuff like that. Instant discharge. I lost my medical pension, but say la vie. I'll tell you what, though, mate. On my life, he was the double of Des Lyman. Kept a spin to go countdown on me, you know. Three from the top, please, Carol. Mattress on this is a bit knackered, isn't it? But you don't do much entertaining on here. Yeah. Come on out, mate. Sit down, will ya? You're making me nervous. So, uh, how are you sleeping? Not so bad. You? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Mum and Dad said you've been back about three months. My mum and Dad? Yeah, well, when I saw him. Must be wondering how I tracked you down. <laughs> Must have been curious. I mean, it's not like you left a forwarding address. Yeah, well, didn't know where I was going to be, did I? Well, proud of you, they are. You know, scrapbooks, photo books, the old lot. Your mum took me through it. She does that to everyone. Yeah, she was a diamond, mate. You know, she got me my tea. She let me kip over in your old room. She's very tidy, your mum. Always polishing your photo. Well, that's my was for you. <laughs> what about your dad, eh? God, he goes on, doesn't he? Go on. Yeah, don't he? <laughs> Thinks he knows it all. Telling me how he'd sort it all out if he was over there. I tell you, what with your mum polishing your photo and him with his opinions? Makes you laugh, doesn't it? No, not really. It did my head in. He's a proper tosser, isn't he? He's my dad. So I don't mean to be rude, mate. It's just a figure of speech, you know. Don't take offence. Well, I... He told me all about your medal. Nice one. Well done. Cheers. I'll give you a look at it, then. Come on, don't be shy. Show it off. The Queen's Gallantry Medal. That is something, mate. I mean, that is some souvenir to bring back with you. I suppose. Hey, no suppose about it. You must have done something really special to get this. <laughs> no, it was nothing. Hey, hey, no, you showed your true colours. I just wish I'd had a chance to do the same. You know, I miss it. What? The rack. I miss it. You've got to be kidding. No. I liked it there. It was the first place I've felt at home in years. So, uh, how are you finding it being back? That's all right. Bit of a period of readjustment, but all right. Period of readjustment. Now, there's a phrase for you, isn't it? Doesn't say the half of it, does it? No. You know, all our years together, all through basic training, passing out, you and me over there together, we made it back. In one piece, well, kind of. Feels like a lifetime, doesn't it? Feels like two. So why have you got a claw hammer under your pillow, then? Gonna be doing some midnight DIY, is that it? Putting some pictures up in your sleep? It's a rough area. <laughs> a rough area? Two tours in Basra, and Nutter's trying to blow you up at every opportunity, and this is a rough area, is it? <laughs> Mate, you're funny. That's a good one. 
Do you want to see mine? You, my souvenir. What I brought back with me. You gotta want to see it. Look. Entry. Exit. You know, I've only got about half a pint of my own blood sloshing around inside of me. It missed my heart by that much. I mean, that's amazing when you think about it. But then, you always was a crap shot, weren't you, Al? The investigation. Oh, uh, yeah, that. Extreme situation, nerves, safety catch slipped off by mistake, everyone debussing, getting out of the back of the sacks, and could have happened to anyone. You played a blinder there, and uh, I was cleared. Yeah. But you and me both know, don't we? Negligent discharge. There was enough witnesses in the section. I, I got fine. You must have been so act off when I didn't die. I, I weren't. I was relieved. Admit it, Al. No one's listening. It's just us. <laughs> I ain't admit nothing. You do me point blank range. Six months later, you're getting a medal for gallantry. What stirred you up to get that, eh? Guilt? <laughs> there, there was nothing to be guilty about. I was cleared. <laughs> you ain't even got the guts to be honest now, have you? You know, I liked the army, Al. It had rules, and I like rules. And now, I haven't got any rules, have I? Because of you. I mean, you're all right, aren't you? You got something to live. You got money. You got a poncy car to ponce around in. I'm skint. I'm living in the park. And I was a good soldier, Al. I was a good soldier, and you took that away from me. But what you took from me? Oh. All this over a girl, is it? You get some dear John letter off your bird and reckon offing me is gonna what? Make you feel better? You betrayed me. You shoot your best mate in the back over some pig-thick fake tan scrubber with plastic knockers. You deserved it! So don't cover me with all that mate stuff, cos I know what you did. Yeah, I know. And you deserved it. Now, now we're getting somewhere. You know, even in the hospital, with tubes and drips coming out of my arms and legs, I didn't say nothing. With them standing around my bed, firing questions at me, I kept quiet. Do you know why? Because I didn't want the army sorting you. I wanted to sort you. So what are you going to do then? How long have you been waiting for me to turn up, eh, Al? Long enough. Mm. Yeah, well, I've been waiting, too. You know how I can wait. You're here now? Yeah. Yeah, I am. So what are you gonna do, then? You and me were such good mates, Al. And this is how it has to end. But you reckon you can get to that before me, do you? as fast as you think you are. So come on, then. Don't just stand there making empty threats. You think you're all that? Let's go. Well, at least you're looking at me this time. Maybe I should turn around and make it easier for oh, you. Oh, I don't think I won't. Don't you think I won't? Because I'm ready for you. Well, go on, then. Finish the job. Be a right old mess, though. Make the news. More bleeding art liberal cobblers in the papers. Your mum and dad can put it in their scrapbook. Go on, go on. Right there, go on. Your hand's shaking.
شل What are you crying for, Al? You don't know how lucky you are. I had a plan when I come here. I had it all figured out. I'd have been happy spending the next 15 years of my life in the nick for you. But things change. It's been a funny sort of day for me. And you ain't worth doing time for now. So you are never gonna go back to that flat or anywhere around there ever again, because if you do, I'm going to hang you the right way around. Do you understand me? Good. <sighs> you know, I've never done her, Al. Your bird. She put it on a plate for me and all, and I never touched her. You know why? Because we were mates. Sniveling. <laughs> On your feet, soldier! <laughs> Have a nice life. You'd gone. I came down looking for you. Where were you? Just out walking. All night. I had a lot to think about. You look like Dad stood there. I don't know nothing like him. Yeah, you do. Stood there, you do. I wanted to show you something. What? Four of us together. She kept it. She didn't burn everything I lied. We were so happy, weren't we? Yeah. <laughs> I remember that red Indian thing. <laughs> Middle for that you were. So what are you doing then? Are you going or are you staying? I reckon I'll stick around. For a little bit. What about this mate you were looking for? I'll make a new one. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, is this yours? You never said. Well, I never gave you a chance to say, but... Is it yours? Yeah. Gallantry. I'll get you. <laughs> what are we going to do about Mum? I'll have to go round and talk to her, but... It's going to have to wait, cos I've got something else to deal with. Anything you need help with? Stace? What is it? Sean, I'm pregnant. What? Stay sure on your baby yourself. I just found out for definite just before I walked straight into you, so I don't even know what I think about it myself. So I don't want to hear what you think, all right? I, I, I don't want to right, hear right, it. I, I, I won't say nothing. Oh, Stace, come here. Look, don't be upset, all right? Anything you need, I'll do it. Me and now, I won't let nothing happen to you, all right? My brother's a hero. 
Yeah. That's me.